my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so someone reached out to me on Instagram and they were like hey can you do a day with me kind of vlog so you can see sort of what I do in a day and I actually put up a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys do you actually want to see a video like that and all the votes were yes so that is what today's video is gonna be you're gonna spend a day with me but just to speak more about what a typical day with me is like so right now I'm recording this video in a time where I'm fasting so you won't see me preparing any meals I don't eat in the morning evening I mean I don't eat in the morning or afternoon I only eat after 6 p.m. when I'm done with my fast so a typical day with me is I wake up in the morning I go straight to take a shower brush my teeth and stuff and I have work so I have work every day from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and I sit down and I get work done so I have a list of tasks to do and if I get my stuff done before 3 p.m. then it's cool but as long as I get my list of work done for the week or for the or for that particular day so yeah I'm normally doing work in the morning and when I'm done with work I just do whatever I want to do so I wanted to film today at the mall because I actually went somewhere more often than not honestly I finish work I go to sleep I just sit with my roommates or go to sleep or eat and normally a normal day for me outside of fasting I usually have my first meal at around 4 p.m. so that's when I'll go to the kitchen and see what I'm gonna eat for the day so I don't have a vlog of me cooking but if you guys want me to make a video where you have a cooking session with me then comment down below and I can make that happen although I don't know I feel like I'm gonna be judged but anyway it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine I do I do morning guys so I decided that I'm going to do this vlog on my phone because my camera is it's just it's just too heavy and I'm gonna be going to the mall today with Angie I bought some t-shirts the other day because it's summertime and I mainly have long sleeve t-shirts because I packed for the winter semester but because of Miss Corona Miss Coco I could not go home and thus I have a very warm clothing which obviously is a drag because it's summertime and yo guys it's hot it is so hot here honestly I would say this is like Limpopo vibes it's so hot I don't even want to be outside I really don't that's how hot it is but anyway we're about to go to the mall I literally have about 10 minutes because we're gonna catch the two o'clock bus where are we going to the mall and you're like Dora where, where are, are we going, going? to the mall where, where are, are we going, going? take the bus when I want to go out of state like if I want to go to New York I'll take the bus but this was my first time taking the bus to just go to the mall life as an international student or I guess anyone really who doesn't have a car I depend on uber friends and the bus public transport to get around because obviously I don't have my own car and I don't think it's worth really getting my own car also I don't have my own car money that's a that's a good one to mention that's a good place to start so yeah I took the bus for the first time it was pretty chill and how it works is we paid four dollars each for a day pass meaning your pass is gonna be set for the whole day if you want to pay for your ticket you mainly pay with cash but you can actually buy a tag so I took the bus for the first time it was pretty it was pretty chill Hey guys, so Angie and I just got off at the bus and we are now at the mall and I'm gonna insert a clip so you guys can see literally my mask, the string of my mask pulled out so I literally had to put a pin inside of the thingy to keep like so I could find a way to tie my mask around my face otherwise I wouldn't be able to get on the bus and by the way we almost 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 missed the bus and when we walked in there and I had my pin inside people were looking at me all sorts of crazy but nevertheless we are now at the mall i've got some things to exchange i got some stuff at forever 21 and so you're not allowed to try anything on because of you know corona and stuff and so you just have to buy what you know to be your size and if it doesn't like work then you can return it so i have to return some stuff and angie wants to go buy some stuff too and i also want to buy like a gift basket hopefully i can find one I want to buy a gift basket for you know I mentioned in my videos that there's a woman who's really been good to me and her family so I want to buy them a gift basket just to say thank you to them so yeah here we are at the mall and I'm just like trying to help fix my mask before we go in I can't do it <laughs> that's good though <laughs> wow so yeah I guess this is it huh a day in my life I 
like this one because it says thank you so much, right? Uh -huh. And um, I was a bit worried about this one, but then her, because it says get a girl, which, which is cool. Um, but I had to like first think about her pronouns, but then I realized her pronouns are she, her, hers, which means that get a girl is okay. And then this one, I mean, it has like a rosé bottle and like, I don't know their relationship with alcohol, but it's pretty. And like the other ones say like, um, oh, that one says you are magic, but it has a unicorn on and I don't know if that's cool. The other one says happy birthday. Hold on. I like this one, but it says happy birthday and it's like, it's not her birthday. So what do you think? Let me put it down here. I think thank you so much would be great. Yeah. Maybe thank you so much and get it, girl. Mm -hmm. This, I decided to get this for. Remember, I, I, I told you guys about the woman who's been so good to me, her and her family. So I got this for her. It's cute, I think. Let me show you guys. I hope it focuses. This one. Focus, darling. I think it's focus. There we go. Yeah, it's focus now. Yeah, so I got these two for them. I think it's something small and cute. It's got sanitizer, hand lotion, and perfume. This is very sweet. But yeah, it's just a thank you gesture for them to say thank you for everything that they've done for me. Every time I spend money at a store, whoever is gonna help me pay for my stuff or whoever my uh, shop assistant will be, I'm like, I'm gonna make this purchase, but you're gonna subscribe to my channel. Like, I give you business, you give me business. You know what I mean? So let me talk a bit about our experience at the mall. Um, the mall was fairly full. Like, it was not obviously full capacity, but there was a good number of people there so in Pennsylvania I think we're at the green stage now or something where malls have opened some stores are open restaurants are open so you do see people in restaurants and in stores a lot of stores have a limit of how many people can be in the store at the same time so most of the time you'll find yourself queuing outside of a store to be able to go in and when you go in of course there's not so many people there some stores actually sanitize your hands before you go inside which I think is cute this one lady was like Sani Sani I was like okay all right then <laughs> should I spoil myself or should I not spoil myself? But the real question is, do you have spoil yourself money? And the answer to that is no. No, I don't. So I'm gonna just move on. I bought t-shirts the other day, but they were too small. And that's another thing about shopping in the mall in this time is that a lot of fitting rooms are closed. Some are open, but most of them are closed, which means you have to sort of pick what you think is gonna fit you and you have to buy it. So I just got some t-shirts to get by for the summer, but unfortunately they did not fit. It was only two t-shirts and I could only return the one because the other one I got on sale and you can't return sale items. But it's a bodysuit and it just doesn't clip, so I figured I might, I'll just tuck it in, I'll be fine honestly. It's a bit tight by the chest area, but anyway. It's okay. So another thing about the malls is while some stores had like mega sales happening because they're closing down for good. And of course there were sales. I wanted to get these sneakers. I'm gonna show you guys these. Guys, I have been wanting these shoes for literally the last 15 years of my life. And they don't have a size. I'm so sad. We went to like two other stores and the one store they actually had it, but there was no size. And I can't. And I sold this one. And I was like, I'm hopeful because it looks big, but it's not. And I'm just, I'm sad. Imagine when actually someone gives you the money to buy something and you just can't find the size. Story of my life. We are at the fourth store to like find the shoe, guys. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I really want to find this shoe. So I came and I asked and they don't have it, but they said maybe they could order it for me. And I look up at the like little sign in the store. Hold on. She is wearing them. She is wearing them. She's mocking me at this point. Look how she's smiling. You see? She's like, she, I feel like she's looking on the side like, huh, look guys, she can't get them. Guys, like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I really don't normally buy shoes. And like all the shoes I have, somebody always buys for me. Like they pick it and they get it for me. 
this is the first time I want shoes and I'm trying to go for them and it's just not happening. This is so sad. But unfortunately, there was not a size available so I could not buy the shoes. I did order them at a store and I hope, I hope, I pray, I pray, I pray they are coming. Many months later. So that was our mall adventures. The whole day we were running late. In the morning when it was time to catch the bus, we were running late. In the afternoon when it was time to catch the bus, we were running late. But we managed to get the bus, of course. Right now, we are back at the house, as you guys can see. It's a bit um, dark in here. So I'm about to pray to break my fast now. It's 6 p.m. I couldn't come home earlier, so I couldn't pray before 6. But I'm about to pray and break my fast. And how I do is I lock myself up in my room. I have my speaker to play music. And yeah, about to break off my fast. Oh, and Angie actually agreed to fast with me. So we're about to pray together. Tell me that's not friendship goals. Yeah, yeah. So guys, we just got done with our prayer. I think it's like... Six. Almost quarter to seven. So I made some rice yesterday with some pasta. I made ribs too and I made wings. Let me show you. Hold on. So this is what our fridge looks like here. Um, I share my fridge with like four people. So it's not all my stuff here. And this is the other side of the fridge. So it's quite full. And we've got spice here these, these are all my spices i love to spice my food my food always has to be well spiced i learned that from my mom here we've got the cereal the oil more spices pasta sugar i don't think you guys need to see anything beyond that really i don't know if there's anything else you'd like to see in this kitchen but yeah so let me show you guys the ribs i made um yesterday and like i said i made wings but i already ate them and they were fries too so yeah let me just open it up i don't have that much left but so when i cook i always make a lot of food so i can eat it over a couple of days especially because i'm fasting now so like you might find that like by the time i'm done fasting i'm super tired and i don't feel like cooking so i just want to eat so i make food for a couple of days um yesterday i had energy to cook but it's like by the time i was done cooking i was too lazy to eat so here are the ribs i made yesterday and this is something that angie put me on to guys have you ever eaten rice with pasta at the same time i never knew it was a thing but it tastes so good i don't know why you guys should try it out if you haven't but yeah anyway so scrub a dub dub it's time for some grub we're about to eat i'm not sure if i'm gonna eat cereal or not i'm kind of in the mood for cereal because i don't know if i want heavy food right now especially since i just fasted but i do kind of want this food because i know it's gonna taste good i don't know what i should do so my friend brought me the screwdriver and now I'm gonna try open my ring light. Let me show you guys. Here it is. It's not working, so I wanna like open it and I don't even know how I'm gonna see. But see maybe if like the light is broken. I don't know how I'm expecting myself to look at this and understand that it's broken. But I plug it in and it's not working, so I'm assuming it's something on the inside. And I don't think the plug is broken, so I think it's something on the inside. But guess what? Guess who doesn't know how to use a screwdriver? Me! One eternity later. Well, we live to unscrew a ring light another day, I guess, or whatever. But basically, the thing is too... <laughs> well, basically, the thing is too small, so I'm gonna have to get another one. This is so complicated. This is not fun. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. If you want me to do any other videos, then comment down below or reach out to me on Instagram. A lot of people reach out to me on Instagram about videos. So if you're not following me, trust me, you are totally missing out. My content is actually, actually very amazing on there too. So follow me on Instagram and on all my socials. Peace and love, guys.